Great. So you have a statement of value, right? And so now that you know exactly what your market wants, the hard work is done, right? Hard work is done. All we have to do now is go out to the market, um, stand on the rooftop, distribute a bunch of flyers, expressing our statement of value and the amazing work that we do. And the money's just going to come flooding in. The sales are going to come flooding in, right? Right? Well, unfortunately, no, that's, that's wrong. And the reason that it's wrong is because of something that I've already stated and that should sound very, very familiar to you. Remember, just because the market wants what you're offering, just because what you're selling is truly great, just because it does deliver an astoundingly amazing after, just because you did widen the value continuum as far as anyone could ever imagine, that doesn't mean they want it from you, at least not yet. Remember, this is what most business owners do. And when you go out there and you say, you know, my product or service is so amazingly great and here's what it does. And here's the after that's going to live for you. That's like saying, you know, I'm just such a good dude and I'm a great cook and I'm rich and I'm great in bed and I've got good genetics so we can make beautiful kids. So let's just get married and have a bunch of kids, right? The fact that it delivers a, a compelling after if you just come all out with this blah, 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 and you just vomit after all over them, the creepy, right? You're back in the freaking weirdo creepy mode. And so we don't want to do that. So remember what we just did is we began with the end in mind. That's what we did. We began with the end in mind, but we're not going to start at the end. We're in the next step, going to go back to the beginning, but I wanted to bring this up and I wanted to remind you of this because the work is not done. Yes. We need to make sure that what we have to offer is something that somebody wants, but just because somebody wants, it doesn't mean they want it yet. And just to further illustrate this point, you know, Gallup did a study and they found that 91% of 18 to 34 year olds want to get married. 91%. 91% of 18 to 34 year olds want to get married. So if you're between the ages of 18, 34 and you walk into a, you know, a bar or a club or some other social gathering filled with a bunch of other single people, does that mean that you get to just walk up to a random person and say, Hey, read this study in Gallup, 91% of 18 to 34 year olds want to get married. Can't help but notice that you're between the ages of 18 and 34 and you don't have a ring in your finger. Guessing that you're one of those 94, 91%. How about if we get married when you get slapped? or somebody freaks out or best case scenario, they just laugh and think that you're being funny. You can't say, Oh, well, that's probably because they were in that 9% that never wants to get married. No, it's not that your prospects and your visitors don't want to buy from you. It's not that you're, that they're not interested in the product or service that you have to offer. It's just, that they want to, you know, date first. All right. It's just that they want to date first. And that's why, what we're going to be talking about and the conversion funnel that we've designed takes that into account. It's all about the date. It's all about using appropriate sequence and proportion following ordinary human interaction. And, uh, it, it it's important for a number of reasons, uh, much of which has to do with why people doubt, but I'll save that for the next video.